Hey, so something's happened a few times now in coaching sessions with clients, so I thought I would share it with you. Um, what, when, when I'm working with clients, we're always looking at ways of improving the business, improving the service to the clients, or improving the sales process, or, or operationally tightening everything up, and that involves the team doing new and different things. And quite often the business owner that I'm coaching starts thinking about how they're going to incentivize uh, their team to do this stuff. And the first place they go to is is some sort of bonus structure for doing these things. And you've got to be really careful with that because firstly, if you introduce a bonus based on them doing something, they're very, very quickly um, accept, see, they think that that is uh, what they're always going to get. So it now makes up their wages. So if they don't hit that target that time and then you remove that bo bonus, there can be some real ill feeling about you kind of taking money off them even though in your mind that money was never there uh, a little while ago. So you've got to be really careful with that. But secondly, you know, money isn't always the best motivator and it's going to cost you money to get this thing implemented. Uh, and I find that um, people are using cash incentives instead of good management. Uh, almost, in some cases, a bit lazily. I'm just going to chuck some money at them so that they do it rather than put around them a, a, what I call a circle of accountability, i.e. checking to make sure they've done it, um, so that, that, you know, to hold the people accountable to do that. And, and I find that happens a lot, is that we, we'll just incentivize it rather than check it. And sometimes what has to happen for um, a new thing to be implemented is your willpower for it to be done needs to be greater than the team's willpower for it not to be done. And if their willpower is greater than yours, no matter, even if you chuck money at it, it's not going to work. So we have to make sure that we've got a strong willpower to get the thing done. Because here's the thing, remember when you're at school, if the teachers stopped marking your homework, how long after that would you carry on doing your homework? Exactly. So if you can't be bothered to mark their homework, they're not going to do it. So it's really important if you're implementing these new strategies, Put good management around it. You don't have to buy your way into it. It's a negative way of doing it and can cause more upset than others. So that's my lesson for today. I hope that you found that useful. Um, just something from, from my experience in the last couple of weeks. Um, so I hope you found the video useful. I'll see you next time.